thank you for stopping in to Lunchtime Jewelry with Emily from Rodville Duo. Where we go through jewelry bags or boxes from Shop Goodwill, Thread Up, American Thrift Supply, eBay, Facebook, local thrift stores, antique stores, garage sales, and estate sales. Then I resell it on eBay. Uh, if you are a YouTuber, join my swap program where we exchange one pound of jewelry and open it on our channels and um, share our um, jewelry and channels with, uh, with our audiences. Um, and um, join me, of course, while we talk everything jewelry and don't forget to subscribe and share to get your subscriber di discount on eBay. Um, today we're going through bag number three from my local um, thrift store. Um, which is Deseret Industries, or a lot of people call it DI. Um, but this is the bag. I paid $20 for it. Um, these, uh, the four bags were all bought on the same day. So I imagine that some of the jewelry may um, go together from the bags. Um, but first impressions, can't really see. There's a couple couple boxes in there, got bags, <laughs> bags coming out of everywhere. Looks like there's some earrings, uh, chains, I see a guitar pick, some kind of tool, <laughs> um, who knows, but um, let's go ahead and get started. So here's, I have no idea what this is. It uh, has some kind of writing on it, but I don't know what it says. Interesting. Let's take a look because it's just interesting to me that they would just throw in some tools. Okay. It says Wittner, Germany. Um, interesting. I don't know what this is. I don't know. Maybe you guys know. I. It's not anything to do with jewelry. I know that. But maybe there is somebody handy that can tell me what that is. Interesting. Um, so I've got my, t my containers ready to go, my crafting container, my uh, lot container, um, and my individual cell container. Uh, let's get out my tools. I've got my loop, my magnet, my measuring tape, and that's good for now. Well, I, I do have the UV light, um, but I don't really use that during openings. Looks like we've got just a plastic bead. Girls, play nice. My kitties, not playing nice. Another large bead. Okay. Uh, jewelry box. Hey, play nice over there. Ooh, I think I need to turn on my gem tester for this one. Ready? Ready, ready, ready. Oh, it's a ring. It's a ring and it's pretty. Don't know if it's real. 
but let's take a look. Um, it's got some interesting prong settings. It is open underneath, so the light, so the light can go through. I'm trying to hold that without my nails getting in the way. So there is a opening. I don't know. Can you guys see that? Um, the stone kind of looks square with the rounded corners. Um, I don't, let me take a look here. I don't see any markings to the naked eye. Um, let's do a quick little test rooney I put batteries in it so that you guys can see it because connected to my cord, you couldn't. Um, so let's take a look. Glass. Okay. So this is a glass red rhinestone. It's a little square with rounded edges. It's got a very interesting setting. I've never seen that kind of setting before. Um, it is not quite five inches, or not quite a size five. Um, so that doesn't even make it over my knuckle. So that's gonna go dainty, a dainty ring for dainty fingers. Okay. I did not see any type of markings on the metal. Okay, we got another box. What is this? A tie, a tie pin. Well, that's pretty. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. We've got, I don't see any markings on the back. Uh, let's check the tack. Nothing on the tack. So it will be, it will need to be tested. Um, although this looks a little yellow to be real gold. Um, but I am gonna test the little rhinestone in there. So you guys can see, see if it's a diamond. Guitar pick. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. So No, nope, just glass. Glass rhinestone. So it's just a nice looking piece, not um, real, looks a little too yellow to be real gold, um, but I'll test it nonetheless, just to see what we got here, but it is a very nice tack pin, just very simple, little star, little starburst there, not bad, I don't, it's not bad, I'm okay with it, uh, let's see, we got another box here, this one says Avon, so, not real high hopes, however, it is, looks a little um, vintage. We've got cotton, everybody. <laughs> okay, oh, we've got some pearls. Lovely pearls. Um, so this is a pearl strand with a lops, I mean a barrel clasp. These are Gritty, 
which means they're real pearls, but they look awfully uniform. Um, and usually when you see uniform pearls, they're not real or simulated. Um, I see some scratching on one, so I'm just gonna check it out. I don't, I can't tell if that's just yuckiness on the pearl or if it's like the knacker is scratching on. I'll have to do a cleanup on that. Um, let's see. They are not knotted in between, which is also a sign that they're not real. Um, when you have real pearls, you're going to have them knotted in between so that they're not rubbing up against each other um, and chipping the knacker off. Um, I don't see any chipping around the holes, which is a different, is, sorry, that they're, oh, seriously, that they're real interesting. Uh, so I'll take a closer look at these, um, but they've kind of got a good weight to them, so I don't know, maybe, Maybe, maybe they're just, um, I don't know. I don't know. That's a nice piece of cotton though. Look at that. Um, okay. So there's that. What do we got here? Got a bag of stones. A bag of stones. Um, let's see. Well, clearly this is quartz. Um, these kind of stones, when you see them in pendant or in spherical settings, they're usually the ones that are used for healing properties, you know, uh, you know, doing like, um, some Reiki or something. So I guarantee that this is quartz. Oh, hello. Okay. So it goes, I don't like that when it does that. So it's in between um, jadeite and spinel, past the quartz and the amethyst. Um, so what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, unless this is, clear jade, but I can't imagine that it would be. Um, interesting. Okay, so there's a st that stone. Then we've got some translucent green. Let's see. That's going to be jadeite. Yep, that's going to be jade. So jade is just your um, general term, um, but jadeite is made is the general term for both jadeite and nephrite. Um, nephrite being the um, paler green, and the jade um, being or the jadeite being um, uh, darker, I believe. Yes, the jade is darker, the jadeite is darker, and the nephrite is a little bit lighter. So, this is jadeite, so it's either jade or nephrite. Um, ooh, here we got some, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, it looks like agate, um, but this is a geode with rosy. Um, you can totally see that there's some translucency in the outer portion of this stone, which I've never really seen before. Hi, Molly. Are you saying hi? Are you saying hi to my jewelry, but my jewelry friends? 
Um, so I'm just gonna do a quick little testeroo on this. Jadeite. I don't think that's jade. Um, let's try again. We've got amethyst. Amethyst. Huh. Okay. Um, so that's interesting. I want to, I'm going to look up what kind of stone has a more translucent outer rock. Um, I find that very interesting. Whew, I love my rocks. Um, and here we got just a stone. <laughs> I don't know if it's got any, um, if it's just the, your garden variety stone. Okay, so it tests out at amethyst or tanzanite. A little further into the emerald, into emerald. <laughs> so I'll take a look. I think maybe if you broke it open, maybe it would have some kind of look like this. Um, I don't know. I'm not the rock uh, or gemstone person. Um, I watch Mama Moon, uh, Mama's Moonstone, um, or is it Moonstone Mama's? Mmm, that's it. Moonstone Mama's, um, very knowledgeable on different, um, stones. She even breaks open her own stones. So maybe I'll refer to some of her videos, um, to see, um, you know, about these different stones. Okay, we've got the Eiffel Tower keychain, and it is marked Paris, and it's the Eiffel Tower. Um, a lot of people collect Eiffel Tower uh, memorabilia. Um, I remember watching a one of the YouTubers collects um, Eiffel Tower stuff. Um, so if that's you, leave a comment below um, and maybe, maybe it'll show up in your mailbox someday. Okay. Um, we've got, ooh, a brooch. We've got a brooch that is just spectacular. So it's enamel and gold tone. It's a watering can and a plant or a flower. And it's on this like um, springy wire. And it is not marked. But if you know who the maker is, please leave a comment below um, so that all of our friends can know um, if there's like a popular maker that does the enamel. Um, I know that uh, Funky Pickle, Sandra at Funky Pickle, um, knows a lot about brooches. So maybe I'll refer to some of her videos. We've got a silver chain. Must have broke at one time because it, it's got like a connector piece there. And then it also has a lobster clasp. Um, but it has an angel charm at the bottom. Um, it looks like maybe it was once a prayer box um, because there's like a opening, like maybe it was like the top of it. Um, but it looks broken and it has a rhinestone in it. So we'll just do a little quick probity probe on it. Okay. Just glass. I'll test the um, silver chain. That might just end up going into my silver scrap. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a, a scratch in my throat. <coughs> oh, we got a gold chain here. Let's see. It's got some writing on this little... Um, thing here and it says 
CW 120th 14 karat gold filled. And this is a um, serpentine chain, I believe. It's got the S pattern and it's flat. Um, it's got a little uh, rhinestone here and that's going to be what? Glass. Okay. So that's pretty. We'll do some testing on that. I'm going to turn off my gem tester now. Okay, we've got an earring. We've got another ring with a rhinestone in it, and it is adjustable. Um, not marked. Kind of feels a little cheapo. Um, but I will test that. We've got a feather necklace here. on a brass tone chain, feels very tinny, has some verdigris on it, so I will try to clean that up. And these look like um, Marcuset, Marcusite um, little stones glued onto there. I don't, oh, yawning a lot. That means I'm not getting enough oxygen to my brain. Um, usually happens a lot when I'm talking to my mom on the phone <laughs> is I don't get enough oxygen. I just have so much to say to her that I just don't breathe in between my sentences. Okay, so that's very long and needs to be cleaned up. We got some seed beads here, multi-strand seed beads, very um, colorful. Uh, it looks a little tangled up and it's more problems than it is worth. So I'm just gonna put that in crafting. Small little metal bead or bronze colored beaded bracelet. Ooh, we've got a fabric button. Oh, another tool here. Button, button. Who's got the button? Well, now this is interesting. Okay, so this is just a silver-toned ring um, with a flat, um, or not flat, um, but wide shank. And um, the shank of the ring is is the round part that goes around your finger. Um, but see this little opening here? That's a bottle opener. Um, I, I've seen my cousin do it a lot with his wedding ring um, and my brother as well with their wedding rings where they open up their beer bottles. Um, but I've never actually seen it as an actual bottle opener. <laughs> So that's pretty interesting. Okay, we've got some earrings that say Honda on them. Um, some kind of light wires, but they do say Honda on them. There are um, auto people that like their memorabilia, auto memorabilia. We've got a gold tone ring, uh, just a um, it's definitely a men's ring, but it's kind of too yellow to be real and it's got some chipping, um, maybe just gold plated or something. Um, but just your typical band, unless it's not a ring and it's like some kind of I don't know, a ring from plumbing or something. I don't know. So we got those, uh, that ring. 
and we got another ring. Um, again, this might have just come off of a necklace. It just looks that way. Uh, we got a pin for citizenship. A citizenship ring. And it is numbered two and it says PAC. And the button back says made in the USA. So there's that. Okay, we got some prettiness here. Uh, looks like that has Quoro vibes. Um, it's got a missing rhinestone and then it has one white rhinestone. Unless that's just a missing rhinestone. Oh, it is. It's just a missing rhinestone. Um, at where, where the foil backing stayed in it and it's um it definitely has coro vibes but and it is it is a coro um let's take a look see coro um so it has the missing rhinestone there and the missing rhinestone there and I'll test these little stones. Looks like we've got some matching earrings. These are clip-on earrings. Um, oh, come on. For the love of Pete. Here we go. Um, and these say somebody different. This is a different maker. Um, let's take a look. What do we got here? This says PM. Yeah, it says PM or PIM. PM or PIM. I'm not 100% sure on that. But maybe that's the designer, um, cause it is the same there. Interesting. Okay. Um, these little rhinestones are testing out as nothing. So these are just your little glass gemstones okay so this is interesting these are faux pearls with this gold um link chain interweaved throughout with a fish hook clasp and it is unmarked interesting unmarked um it's really pretty. Got a tennis bracelet here with blue and clear rhinestones. It is um, box clasp here. And then it also looks like it has a safety lock. I like that. It's got a maker right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's got a maker. Oh, it's not a maker, but it does say 14 K B H. What does B H stand for? If you know, leave a comment below. Uh, we will test the stones. What? Okay, one more time. What 
we got topaz, blue topaz, and ruby. Wow. Topaz. Okay. So these are blue and white topaz. And it is on a safety, I mean, it has a safety lock, so that's always nice. Um, gold, so it's, I'll test it for the 14 karat gold. Um, but that is gorgeous, and this is what's going to make me my money back on my, um, on this bag, if not all of the bags, along with my diamond earrings. That's pretty. Um, if anything, that's what should go in one of these boxes because it's, well, not in that one, clearly. Um, okay. Okay, looks like we've got some rings here. They're kind of brassy. Uh, have some vertigree on them. Um, I'll probably check those out. May try to clean those up. Uh, clean those up. Um, I know there's people that like their brass or copper, and that's what those are. Little pearl stretch ring. Um, that's cute. Pearl stretch ring. Maybe I'll wear that. Um, and then this is a silver tone ring with some coral. Um, it looks like it would be real silver just because of how tarnished it looks. Um, I don't I can't tell if these are markings or it just scratches, but let's take a look. Um, okay. So those, okay. This is very, um, definitely handmade. These are just like imperfections in the making. Like you can see total tool marks in the, silver. So this is definitely, um, handmade. Um, very small. Looks like mm -mm, a pinky ring, a little misshapen, shaped, misshaped. Um, oh, we got a button cover with the Looks like a G with that like Mason, um, the Mason look to it, that Freemason look or whatever that um, symbol is. Button cover. We got a fun bag here. Okay, we've got a little stretchy bracelet with some beads and it says Trump. It says Trump. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so we've got another necklace here. It's on a rope chain, gold tone. I'm not seeing any markings to the naked eye. I'll take a closer look though later. Um, it's a triangle with a very large Rivoli. Um, it's closed, so not, probably not real, um, but might be just crystal, like a glass. Let's take a look. Yeah. Uh, ah, actually it's going a little past the glass, which, um, says that maybe it is like a CZ, but that's a Rivoli. And the Rivoli is the 
is the rhinestone is the cut that like um, comes to a point. So that's, that's nice. I like that. Another gold tone. We've got, this is your uh, Cuban link chain. And these are some just square little glass rhinestones. Um, yeah, glass rhinestones. I don't see a maker. So I'll take a closer look into that. Um, but yeah, your nice little piece of costume, costume jewelry. We got silver tone, very lightweight, uh, oval link. Um, got some different kinds of beads. So this is a glass bead that has zebra pattern. You can kind of see like there's a layer of that clear around it. It's very cool looking. We got uh, these little plastic beads. We got some hammered ovals here. Um, okay, so it's double stranded. These beads are very cool. Very cool. Okay, looks like we've got some royal blue large enamel or plastic resin. No, plastic. Definitely plastic um, links along with these large curb links. So the difference. Curb links are flattened. Cuban links are rounded. So Cuban and curb links are very similar. They both are, have that, what I call, italic lean. You know, because like, you know, your letters are Italian, uh, italic, italic, <laughs> and kind of lean. Um, so this is the Cuban, which is round, and then the curb is flat. Looks like we've got a bib necklace here. Unbelievably, it is all intact, looks like. These always seem to have like missing little baubles. Oh, and I spoke too soon. It's got a missing bauble right there. Um, I think maybe, was that, did I have one in here earlier? No. Okay. Um, it has the uh, Cuban link and no markings, but it's missing a bauble. So that's gonna go into crafting. Okay, we've got another, oh, these have that, ugh, that like film feel to it. Okay, so these are very art deco on a curb link chain. I don't see a maker. But we've got these um, different size triangle triangles. They art deco. Oh, ringy here. Looks like we've got a earring that's. We've got a lonely earring. I don't. Oh, right here. My earring, my lone earring or broken earring bag. Put off to the side. Yeah. Okay, we've got this cool um, adjustable bracelet. Um, silver toned. I don't see a maker. 
but it is um, expandable so it's easier to get over your um, hand. But that's nice, I like that. It's got some etching in it. Um, so that is pretty cool. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay. We've got a rose gold or copper toned chain here. It says, let your light so shine, matte 516. I like that. Um, and I have a bag um, that I keep to the side that has um, that has all my religious um, my religious pieces. Um, like I have, I have a rosary. I have a nice rosary that I got. Um, I've got this um, Mary, um, Alex and Ani bracelet. I've got John 316. I've got a nice cross. So now I'll um, have Matt 516 join the religious party here. I had also gotten a, a jar um, that um, holds my holy water. I'll keep that in my little baggie here. And I'll bag that up in there. Okay, we've got a lone earring here. Um, I've actually seen the earrings like these. I had them in another bag. Um, the square um, cut. They're just um, your typical costume um, earrings. You can find it Claire's. <laughs> okay, so we've got beaded um, with an anchor, just your simple little bracelet. And we have another anchor necklace. It's got an anchor on it, silver toned. I don't see any markings on it. Um, I'll probably test it because the way that it's tarnished makes me think that this is silver. Um, does have a marking on it on this little tag here. So we'll take a look. Italy 925. Um, so I will test this necklace out. We got a broken gemstone and then an earring backing. <laughs> um, and I have my um, findings container out and about. Um, but for now, I'll just put it in this little thingy about bobber. And then I will just to show you a quick little peek at all these earrings. Oh. There's some large earring cards here. Um, oh, these are interesting. Okay, so I really <laughs> kind of dig this. Um, I've never seen it done like this before, but the backings, they must not have backings, and that, so they just stuck this piece of foam on there. Um, okay, so there's like a number of different earrings. Um, we've got some Lucite roses. We've got these square little plastic pieces. Is this an owl? I love owls. Um, so I don't know if you saw my last in my how I organize my in my office. 
um, I decorate all in Harry Potter. And one of the aspects of Harry Potter is the owlery, where all the owls stay, um, you know, that they go and send out the mail or whatever. <laughs> um, so I have tons of different types of owls just all around my office. Um, and I don't know, I kind of have a thing for them now. Um, so that's what this is, a little owl. And it's got a little like stone in its belly, kind of like a jelly belly. I love it. There's some um, mom earrings, some hand earrings. Enamel. These are really cute. I really, really like these set. This set. So these are silver tone and these are gold tone. There's the other owl. Cute. Um, these, again, the roses. We've got the figure eight hearts. Um, Oh, these are interesting. So these are rhinestones that have just the foil over them. Like, I don't know, that's interesting. Um, instead of mom, it says love. And then there's these different little rhinestones. I really like those. These are so fun, I love those. Okay, um, so that is the end of this bag. I've got one more bag to go. Um, so, be waiting for that. That'll come up in the next uh, week. Um, I got so many videos backed up that I'm editing and stuff. <laughs> so they'll all kind of come out probably around the same time. Um, but um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share um, so that you can get your eBay discount of 15%. Um, and... Um, if you want to join my um, swap uh, program, I would love to do that with you. Um, just shoot me an email at rodvolduo at gmail.com and I will see you on the next one. Bye.